Hey, this is Joe Tomorrow from PubRepairSupply.com. All right, I'm here with my boy Jetta. What's up, man? Well, all right, what's the first thing? Good looking. Yeah, yeah shout yeah, out to the ladies on right. Facebook. Right. Yeah, but ladies and guys, I'm going to need you to subscribe to our video. That's right. You Come thought on. he was going to say give him a shout out. Yeah. But he was like, nope, just hit the little square rectangle button yeah. under the video on YouTube. Subscribe. That will allow subscribe. YouTube to send you a little email once a week. Let you know what's up, how yes, we've been our doing, videos. our crazy videos. You'll be right. like, these guys are so comical, yet they know really technical stuff. Right. And that's cool because, you know what I mean, technical stuff gets so boring. Oh, my God. Well, All right, but to today to we're going to show you right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, right. true. All right, but today we're going to show you right not only how to fist bump 15,000 times in three minutes, Okay, we're gonna also show you how to remove the impeller. Oh, they was super. I got him on that one. He's like, yo, I can't help it. It's like Saturday night. He's like, that was funny. All right, I'm, I almost fist bumped you again. Oh, I have a chronic fist bumping powder uh, problem. All right, so you want to get a 12 uh, millimeter wrench just like this. All right, you want to put that in the back of the shaft. Now, if you watch the other videos, we've shown you how to remove the stationary switch. We've shown you how to remove the. Uh, the capacitor, how to remove the motor governor at that point. If you haven't watched that, you want to go back right. to our YouTube channel and check out all that other stuff. Right. But if you're subscribed, videos. you should know that. You right? know. That's you what I'm saying. Like. All right, so what we're going to do now is two steps. Usually you want to do it yourself, but since Jed is here, you want to turn your impeller yeah. counterclockwise. But the first thing you want to do is hook on your 12 millimeter, millimeter wrench just like this in the back. That way you hold the shaft. Okay, now go ahead, Jed, turn that counterclockwise and spin that off. There you go. He's going to spin it counterclockwise. All right, there you go, just like that. Once you spin it a few times, that's it. Just like that, that's how you remove the Hayward Super Pump Impeller. Now, if you need a Hayward Super Impeller, where do you go? PumpRepairSupply.com. All right, there you go. We got them in stock. We'll ship them directly to your door. No hassle, no nothing, right? There you go. All right, so that's how you remove the Hayward Super Pump Impeller. Stay tuned to the next video. We're going to show you how to remove the seal and the housing, and we'll show you how to stay and change the seal. All right, once again, this is Joe Tomargo from PumpRepairSupply.com. Here with my boy, Jetta, Chronic Fist Bump. Peace!